do you know who the current uh, rocket holder is? I know, I know he's an Italian with a record of 200 hours. We live, it's coming to Africa. So now we are the ones getting interviewed. Oh, oh really? We have just encountered the first big, big rain, or the first rain. Yes. In a month. In a month. Since we're here, this was the first rainstorm and it was a big one. But also one day of no water. Yes. We yeah. had, when we arrived back home, there was a whole day of no water. So they had three days no water in Accra. Yes. But now they have water. Yes, now they have water again. And because we of were, the rain. And we were lucky because um, uh, where we stay, Steve's family, they have an extra water uh, reservoir, water tank. But yeah, there was no water. And now there's rain. But so, we started doing the raining dance, scaling the elevator like this, and then, like the booty class, and then, <laughs> and the then rain came. Skies were falling down <laughs> with rain. And people were like, Kaylee! <laughs> appreciate you <laughs> but it was too late because you came to Ghana the water already was, was back before the rain came so. yeah but you are uh, boosting the economy <laughs> if you're spending <laughs> <laughs> see up more at the biggest event I feel at this moment in Accra what's happening here club mouth on DJ some aiming to break the record and it said the one to 255 hours play in the club he's been active all this while we've done eight days already and do you feel like um, the energy is getting more people are coming more uh, it's getting high and high each and every day so we believe it's gonna be higher till the last day and then we're hoping the record will be recognized by him as in the Guinness World Record will recognize it. Wow. Yeah. And do you know who the current uh, rocket holder is? I know I know he's an Italian with a record of 200 hours. But that, that notwithstanding, we believe it's coming to Africa. That's my own. Where is coming to Africa? It's coming to Africa. And he must be, I saw a little bit on his Instagram, he must be fit because he is, he is a gym person. He's a weight lifter. But just that, and this one is daunting because he doesn't sleep. That's why I'm here for him 24 7. You are also here. I've been here 24 7. All this while. Wow, 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 wow. Many, wow. many, many MCs come through for him. So I really appreciate that you're doing this. And I, and everybody that's at home, come see this DJ and I'll MC up more because they are the best in town. Thank you very Thank much, you man. Very much. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm out of. Yeah, me like it Every time you wake up Stunning with no makeup Me like it How you call my name up Got me feeling way up Me like it Haters tryna break us Them know they can shake us Me like it Baby, me no chaser Get ready to take off So now we are the ones getting interviewed Oh, oh really? Who, who is gonna? Oh, you are interviewing me <laughs> well, somebody came and then asked if we want to be interviewed, so I think we have to wait here. Okay, no problem. We will wait. Um, audience at home, please wait a minute. <laughs> at the event, there was a TV channel present called Lifestyle TV, and they wanted to interview us about how we came to the event and what we thought of the event. So we were telling her that Steve found it actually through Instagram and that we really loved the vibes there. So I was telling her Yefra Kaylee, which means my name is Kaylee and Tree. And it was a really nice interview. We absolutely loved it. The energy, how do you find it? We find it wow. Sure. It's amazing. It's been amazing from day one to now and we hope and pray that he will be able to finish. Okay, he's going to do it. I, I have I've known him for the past 18 months and it has been extremely good. So alcohol, no alcohol, water, there are rules that governs this marathon. So really? yes. 
It's not everything that he can do. Okay. So he's playing within the rules. Okay. But the energy is from the motivation we give him on a daily basis. Okay. And the people that come around to cheer him up and everything. Big ideas we, 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 we cherish our own. And for sure, it's, a, it's our own. So we have to give him the biggest support. Yeah. If, if he's able to achieve that, it's, yeah. for, it's for the country, it's for Ghana, yeah. it's for Africa. So yeah. why not? Ghana football team couldn't bring the cup. Yeah. What? This DJ Sam? DJ Sam is going to bring the, everything home. Everything. 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 The crowd is going to bring it. I trust you. How do you think like he, he can keep going like that? I think it's the motivation, you know? Yeah. And I think I think he's very determined as well. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. We've been with him and we that we break, go home and go and rest. We are even fully tired, of course. So you can just imagine. Wow. You can just imagine. We only went eight hours. Uh -huh. And we are we fully the stress rest. So yeah. it's done well. It's done well. Yeah. And has the event go peacefully like you hope? Like everybody keeping his cool yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone is keeping his calm. Security is on top and the place is very safe. All of a sudden, two people just got super mad. What was it? What what happened? They were fighting about Kaylee. Why? <laughs> Because Kaylee needed some help, and all the guys wanted to help. No, but why were they so upset with each other? I don't know. That guy wanted to help us. Yes. And then with our car because something of the car fell down. Because what else is new with this car? But yeah. yes. And then <laughs> the guy came and. The old guy. The old guy came yes. also to help Kaylee, and then the to other help guy us. said, "What's what's wrong, uh, old man or big or something like that?" Oh, and then they. And then the old man got angry <laughs> because he called him that oh. word. Oh. Oh. So it was all just a big misunderstanding. Oh. But like you know from us. We are the drama team, you know? The drama team! <laughs> If we don't get drama, then we are not that team. <laughs> Our needs to be drama. is always drama. <laughs> I starting to think that we just put a camera on our head. <laughs> just film our life full with this kind of drama. I think around 60% of the drama that we face, we don't even put on internet because they're private things. Yeah. But imagine that <laughs> the drama you see is not even half of the drama that we face in a day. No, this is totally <laughs> not half of the drama. I told you, I told if people would live with us. <laughs> you go back to your country, you will cry for mama, you want breastfeeding. I don't know, people could not take this. But definitely it was very good that we came here. Stephen pushed me on stage with the DJ and then it turned out that it wasn't allowed, so... Doesn't matter. We, we still have, have the, the images. Have, yes, we still have the camera. <laughs> Oh. You just wanted to see us? Yes, you in the light? See what we have in the car. You just wanted us to turn on the lights? Yes. I thought there was going to be another police. Yeah, it was police. Oh. They are like uh, neighborhood police. Oh. So they, in the evening, sometimes, like mm -hmm. the first day when we came, mm -hmm. they were here. And oh, then yeah. never, we don't see them again. Yeah. So, we, so do they do one month? <laughs> I see. Every month they do a check. I think. They do a check. Yeah, so. And we pass the check. We pass the check, they only turn on the light, then they want to see what's inside. If you have a weapon. But if I have a weapon, I will not put it inside. You <laughs> don't put it on your lap, right? No, I don't put it on my lap. <laughs> Wow. So then you turn the, the light on and then they will let you go. Yes. If they suspect anything, then they will say, open your boots. At least we didn't have to give anyone money. We saved money. I gave him. You didn't give him money. Uh, invite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
What you eating? Rice, a coconut. So this is rice. I caught it myself. Mm -hmm. Chicken, I fed it myself. Mm -hmm. Avocado, I give it water myself. Mm -hmm. Make it spinach stew. Mm -hmm. I yes. I ate it myself. Yes. So that's the only you know, thing that's true in this whole story. So Kelly is taking over. <laughs> How do you like the food? The food is very nice. Mm. I love it. This is one of my favorites, the spinach. Really? Yes, the green stew. Mm -hmm. I always love that. Mm -hmm. With rice, any dish mm -hmm. with rice mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. And, mm. then, and then chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Mani mm. Ajay. What did you say? Mani Ajay. Hey! Mm. You surprised me. <laughs> you. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked right now that you can even speak to you. <laughs> it's been a few days since we last went to our party, so we're completely fresh and clean again. Let's introduce today's topic. And today is going to be an interesting one because you might have seen the Super Bowl with the Super Bowl performance of Usher and Alicia Keys and Usher being Usher and just completely appreciating Alicia Keys' body while she has a um, boyfriend yes. or a husband. I don't know if he has a girlfriend though, does he? Who, Asher? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so that's not guessed. even the issue though, that's weird. A little while ago, there were also the concerts of Chris Brown where he would ask a girl up on stage and then he would give her a dance, a Eish. lap dance, an intimate dance. Eish. And the boyfriend wasn't happy, right? No, 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 no. It, it became more a radio topic about people calling to say, if my husband doesn't let me do this, mm -hmm. then, 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 yeah, consequences. So people were saying, if I want to go to Chris <laughs> Brown and I want to get a lap dance by Chris Brown on stage, my husband should let me. It's like waiting a lottery for some people <laughs> getting a lap dance from Chris Brown. So my husband should let me. So Steve, we already can feel a little bit of what you're thinking about it, but oh. explain yourself. If somebody really, really, really wants something, <laughs> You cannot tell them not to do it because eventually they will do it. But afterwards, if you would be their husband or boyfriend, you would break up. Or it would at least cause an issue in your relationship, right? It will cause a huge, huge problem in their relationship. For me, Chris Brown is nothing. Usher is nobody. They are just a human being. They go to the toilet like everyone. They eat like me. They are just like me. And if my wife can go on a stage and do that with a person, that she adores then please be with that person because for me in my head that person is the same like a neighbor so for you it's like if you are doing it on stage with chris brown you might as well be doing it with club. with uh some random guy on the street yeah the the person yeah. would probably never not even get chris brown's number ah ah yeah huh so now i must consider that even though you went on the stage that you not get Chris Brown number, nothing will happen. I must consider that also. Wow. So for me, that argument feels a little bit like if you could get his number, you would want to and you would ditch your boyfriend, but he won't give you his number. So you're with your boyfriend just because. Just because. So you are undervalue yourself for a person that in your boyfriend's eyes is nobody. That's even more disrespect than saying like, I wanted to go on the stage. I wanted to go on the stage, but don't worry, hubby, because Chris Brown doesn't want nothing to do with me. So I would just come in home and then we would just sleep. So my argument would be that um, it depends on the relationship. So if you feel like maybe you talked about it beforehand, they cannot forbid anything towards another yes. person. Yes. However, you can explain how you feel and then yes. say, hey, I may be not comfortable with you doing this. And then if that's clear, then you as the girl can make the decision. Hey, do I want to put my boyfriend in a position where he is uncomfortable? If that's what you want, if your own feeling or your own maybe momentary joy goes above him yes. feeling uncomfortable, yes. then you may have to reconsider Consider, being yeah. in the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> but if you ask him and he's like, just go for it. I would do exactly yes. the same if it was Beyonce. Yeah. Then I feel like other people shouldn't mingle 
and say, oh yeah, he's weak for doing that yeah, or perfect, perfect. it's their relationship. Yes. So if they, if they want something like that, then yeah. let them. We have a third opinion, not a second, but a third opinion. Eish. Yes. So we're going to call mm. our good friends, girl, you girls, you guys, you people have seen her on Instagram. <laughs> And it is Saba. <laughs> what do you think is your opinion or maybe a general opinion, Saba? My opinion is a bit a mix of both of yours, I would assume. But I think generally it depends on what kind of relationship you have, right? Like if you're mm -hmm. in a relationship where you're very clear, you, you talk about it, you have good communication and, you know, your boundaries. If mm -hmm. your partner's okay with it, then okay. Um, but if your partner says they are not okay with it, then just don't do it mm -hmm. i think i personally wouldn't but mm -hmm. that's just me yeah and i also don't think i would like actually i don't know i don't think i would like to see that on my husband mm -hmm. but like then, maybe for example with beyonce or whoever i mean i don't know how intimate they, like how mm -hmm. intimate it's gonna be right like if it's just like out of like fun like okay joke like not too much touchy but you're fine uh -huh. but if it gets too deep then what so, if a person is demanding it so and the other I, partner is not liking it yeah he's hesitating yeah. but she wants to push it through well then drop that girl i would say <laughs> if it's something like i'm pushing my partner to go bungee jumping with me whatever that's fine but having that i think if mm -hmm. your partner's saying like clearly no i don't like it and you're kind of pushing for it then i think it's a problem is it so that somebody who would allow like between brackets allow a partner to do something like this is that person by definition more secure meaning a person that wouldn't allow their partner to do it is more insecure i don't think it's black and white i do think you have to have a quite high level of security in yourself and the relationship you're at to allow such things um but I can also understand that you still feel very comfortable, but it's just a no-go. And I don't, maybe it comes with its securities, but maybe it also is from secure people and they just don't like to have that kind of, op I don't know, openness or are not very, you know, open to those things. So I think it's kind of mixed. If the person wanted that to happen, but the other does, didn't want it, and eventually yeah. the person got what they wanted on the stage, could that relationship yeah. hold stand? I think it would be quite some hard work. So it, it depends on the person. I, either they are like, okay, forgive, forgive and forget and mm -hmm. move on. But I think if it's your core, like your like your values and they disrespected the core values that you have for a relationship, then that might be a no-go and a tricky one and by Felicia soon situation. Thank you so much for watching, Saba. We're pointing at you now. Go share, follow, like, subscribe. <laughs> if you are not by what are you doing? <laughs> what? Yes. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, guys. See you next time. <laughs>